so that they can serenade you as you're waiting for your ride. Are you the woman who gets to play in prime locations such as Times Square or Columbus Circle? This is for Scott Rosendale as the answer. The Sunnyside Social Club calls Queens home, but they love for a steady gig in Midtown. What's the good spot? Right here. Grand Central. Grand Central. That's the that's the money maker. Grand Central, 42nd Street. Sticks with standards and classic jazz. That is, when he's not running a newsstand on 42nd Street with his seeing eye dog at his side. I love people, you know, and if I can make some bread doing it as well, it's a good thing. 70 acts auditioned today at Grand Central's Vanderbilt Hall for about 20 new spots in the MTA's Music Under New York program. The competitive process coordinates more than 7,500 diverse performances every year along subways and commuter rail stations. It seems like a great program, a great community of, uh, you know, subway musicians. Now, any performer can play on the New York City transit system as long as they follow rules about noise and blocking people, where to be. But members on the Music Under New York program get guaranteed spots at high-profile locations, including here at Grand Central. And musicians like Jill say a permit from the program can cut down on questions from police about exactly where and when they can play. If I go to perform, I know I'll actually be able to perform. In the end, it's all about a chance to further an artist's exposure and livelihood. You can make a lot of money on the subway. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Along with easing the stress as the commuters race by. At Grand Central Terminal, Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York. I gotta tell you, the subway really make my days with performers up there. And the acoustics are great.